So one of the things that people typically do here is they grab a wall and then they click edit type and then they duplicate. Create the new type. Have to remember to change the structure of the wall of course. Now they have a new wall type. Unfortunately when they click OK, oops, my selected wall ended up being changed. Quick undo removes that one and a quick undo will remove the generic 22 inch that I have there and I can back up. Now if I create a new version of the wall using create similar, sketch it over there, then I can do the same technique using edit type. But this wall doesn't matter. It's just a quick copy of the wall so to speak. If I change this one, who cares if it gets bigger or smaller. Now the other approach is to duplicate a wall right there in the browser, but then I got to rename it and or open the dialog box and duplicate and or rename it there. So it seems a little redundant to right click on it to duplicate only instead of just double clicking on the name that appears. Now if I'm doing a family, it's all the same stuff. Select the family, duplicate, create the new type, or you go to the browser do the same thing. Grab one of these, duplicate or duplicate the type. If you double click it'll open the type properties dialog. Or if you're trying to update your library so that you can load it and have it available for other projects and you want to add a new family type. And now it'll be available for everybody when they load that door. Now if the, pro if the door's already loaded in a project you'll have to reload it. But you can create your new types here. And that's one of the advantages of a type catalog. You can add the new type to a catalog file itself and not actually have to mess with the file individually.